Hello, in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to calculate a definite integral. And so to do this we're going to have to be able to integrate basic functions and I'll link my video on that below. Okay, So you need to be able to calculate what's called an indefinite integral first. So a definite integral is very similar to just integrating something normally, except it has what we call limits on the integral. Okay, So for example, say we wanted to integrate 2x with respect to x, a nice easy integral. Now this at the minute is what we call an indefinite integral because it's just an integral with no bounds or limits. Okay, If we added limits, which are just little numbers that we write on the top and bottom of the integral, for example, between 0 and 1 like this, this has now become a definite integral. So let's see how we can calculate this. So, well, we would add 1 to the power and divide by the new power. So we're going to get 2x squared and we'd divide that by 2. And just for this example to show you, we're going to add in the constant of integration, right? So let's add in our plus c. So the difference is now, because we've got these bounds, okay, or limits, and this is a definite integral, we have one more step to our working. We need to add square brackets around this, so let's add them in. And then we write the limits on the right-hand side, so between 0 and 1. From here, all we have to do is substitute 1 into our integral we calculated, and then subtract the same thing, but where we've substituted in 0. So let's do that here. So if we substitute in 1, we're going to get, well, 2 multiplied by 1 squared is 2, divided by 2 gives me 1, so we get 1 plus the constant of integration, and then we subtract from that the same thing but where we substitute in 0. So when we substitute in 0 we get 2 multiplied by 0 squared divided by 2 which is 0, plus the constant of integration, so plus c. And if we calculate this we get 1 plus c minus c, and this gives us an answer of 1. And you'll notice that the constant of integration has disappeared Okay, when we've calculated the definite integral. And so for this reason, when we calculate definite integrals, we don't need to bother adding in the constant of integration. We can just integrate it, forget about the constant, and then put in our limits. So there is a standard rule that we can use for definite integrals, and it comes from what we call the fundamental theorem of calculus, which is what you'll cover if you do maths like at university. And so say we're integrating okay, between a and b, just a generic function f of x so we'll call integrating f of x between a and b with respect to x now say when i integrate f of x my answer is capital f of x okay let's write it down and you'll see these steps are very similar to the one above and i'm going to substitute in my limits so i'm going to substitute in my uh, limit b first so we're going to get capital f of b and then we're going to subtract capital f of a okay and so you can see here this is kind of the generic rule uh, of integration or def calculating a definite integral. So let's take a look at one more example, even though we looked at one above. So we're integrating between 0 and 3, 3x squared. So we're going to add 1 to the power, divide by the power. So we're going to be left with 3x cubed divided by 3, which is just x cubed. And remember our square brackets. And also, we don't need our constant of integration because we're integrating between 0 and 3. So now I'm going to substitute in 3 for x, and we get 3 cubed. I'm going to subtract when I substitute in 0, 0 cubed. And so my answer is 27. So that's how we can calculate definite integrals. Hopefully this was useful. If it was, like, subscribe and share and go over to my channel for tons more tutorials. Thanks for watching.